guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabriella, and today I've got a boohoo haul for you, which I'm really excited to get into. I'd really appreciate it if you could like, comment, and subscribe. So let's get into the video. The first item that I'm going to be showing you is this dog tooth skirt. Now I really like this one. I absolutely love the pattern. Dog tooth is something I've always sort of loved because it's something that my mum's always worn, but I just never seem to get any items with that pattern. But I do really like it. I love the fact that it's black and mustard, and I just really like it. I feel like it's a really nice length, and I just feel like this one's a lovely one to wear. And it's got a stretchy waistband, so it's comfortable, it fits really well, so it can cinch into your waist just to meet that, so it's not too loose, not too baggy. And I also like the material. It's sort of like that t-shirt material, you know, like the soft cotton material. It's just a really nice material. It's so soft. And I do think that this one's definitely light enough that you could comfortably wear it in the summer. So this one I would definitely recommend. So the next item that I'm going to be showing you is this skirt. I really like this skirt. Again, it's got the waistband so that it sort of stretches and fits your waist properly. It's quite a nice length. I think it's slightly shorter than the one I showed before, but I do like this one. It's really comfortable, really nice. And again, it's a thin material, so it'll be great to wear in the summer. The only issue is this one is incredibly see-through. When I had it on the try and portion, you could definitely see what I had on under it, which is, I just had this bodysuit on so you could see the outline of the bottom of this. So you could definitely see through this one, which isn't the best thing. And before that, I tried it on with knickers with a pattern on, and you could see <laughs> the pattern as you could easily see it. So this is the next skirt that I'm going to show you. And I think this one is pretty much exactly the same as the one I just showed you, except in a different material. So it's pretty much the same colour, it's the same shape, but this one is obviously again the t-shirt material, and this one's more that slinky material. So this one has got one of those waistbands in it, but as you can probably see, it's already sort of twisted. But I do like this one, this one's a lot thicker than the other one because I can see it's got at least two layers under it which I think is really nice, really comfortable. You can't see for it at all. And it's just such a nice one to wear. It's just such a comfortable skirt and I do think that it's quite flattering. Even though I don't tend to go for lighter bottoms, but I do really like this skirt. This one might be a little bit hotter in the summer just because it is a bit thicker and it's a different material. Okay, so the next item that I've got, I'll be completely honest, is a little bit ridiculous. So this one I'll just hold it up, I'm going to hold it up in the try and portion as well so that you can see the length, but this is the length of it. So this one is ridiculously long, I got, I got a top in a similar design so it's also got ruching down the side and when I pulled this out of the bag I figured that I might have picked the wrong one up and that this is supposed to be a dress, but no this one is definitely supposed to be a skirt. And as you'll see when I hold it up, I'd say if you're at least seven foot, then definitely go for this as a really nice, really comfortable skirt. Now, I'm not sure if I made a mistake with this one. That's possible. I'm not sure if it's just a manufacturing issue or it's how the skirt's actually supposed to be. If it is how the skirt's actually supposed to be, then I'm not, I, I just don't really get it. <laughs> I don't really understand it because it is, it's ridiculously long for me. As you'll see, I can comfortably pull it up over my chest into a dress and it's still dragging on the floor, which isn't good. But other than that, I do think it's quite a nice skirt. So it's got ruching down the side, on both sides that is. And it's got an elastic waistband. It's quite see-through. But I do think that because of the colour you can't actually see through it. This one just, it was just such a disappointment for me because I was really looking forward to trying it. If it was a manufacturer's issue then fair enough I understand that but at the same time I will show you the dress in a second and you'll see that that's also too long for me which will probably, yeah just, I just don't understand it. But this skirt, if it was a good length then I think that I would really like it, although the ruching doesn't properly, it doesn't sort of ruche properly, 
which you'll see as well in the try on portion. I don't really like this one, to be honest, just because I don't understand the length of it. Unless it was an issue, then I don't understand it. Which is such a shame, because on the model it looked lovely, and on the model it was a good length, so I'm not sure what's happened with this one. So the next item that I'm going to show you is the dress that I just talked about. So this is the ruched dress. So I do like this one, it's got ruching down the side as well, it's not as ruched at the top and then once you get down towards the bottom it ruches a little bit more so there's more ruched detail. But again this one is ridiculously long for me, so you'll see when I did the ruching it was ruched more or less fine at the front, it doesn't really rush very well but at the back it was just sort of clumps of ruching, it didn't look very good at all. So for this one, I don't like it very much, which again is such a shame because I was really excited about these pieces. So just to let you know, it has got spaghetti straps, the ruching and that's sort of all the detail. So these two, if I did want to wear them, then I'd definitely have to take them up, but I'd have to take them up quite a lot, so I think it might lose sort of the aesthetics of the dress, so I probably wouldn't wear these ones just because of that. And looking at this one, I assume maybe they haven't made a mistake on the other one. Maybe they're just meant for it to be that long. So the skirt and the dress are both easily longer than I am. They're both well over five foot. So they're probably not the best. They haven't been designed very well, to be honest. And the fact that the model on Boohoo can comfortably wear them. So I was thinking maybe they just made a mistake on the two, but they happened to send out to me. I'm not really sure. So the next item that I'm going to be showing you, I absolutely love the design of. The shape and the cut, everything is perfect. However, it's not the colour that they showed online. And it is this one. So this is the dress and it's incredibly bright orange. It's got a leg slit which is really nice. So I do absolutely love the style of this one, I love the design, I even love the leg slit. So it's got spaghetti straps, leg slit on one side which I think is absolutely really flattering. And it's just such a lovely dress all round. But I will just quickly show you the dress that they have on Boohoo. So as you can see in the background it's not the same colour. This definitely isn't this. So I'm not really sure what happened with this one either. But this one, I would 100% recommend it, as long as you're okay with the fact that it isn't actually the colour that it shows on the website. So now you can actually see what the colour is. And if you like this colour, then you can definitely wear it. I feel like maybe in the summer, when I have a deep tan, I'll probably feel a lot more comfortable wearing this one. But at the minute, I don't have any tan at all, so I don't think this colour suits me. So if I had a tan, I'd definitely wear this and I would definitely love it, but without a tan, I don't feel comfortable in it. So the last item that I'm going to be showing you today is this top. So for this top, I haven't actually got a try on portion for it, just because this top is in a size 22, and in tops I'm like a maximum, a size 18 is what I usually go for. But this one has arms, and the arms were really tight on me, and I tried it on without a bra because I just wasn't wearing one at the time when I tried it on, and you could see everything. Like, nothing was left to the imagination at all. This top is so see-through, you could completely see everything. And with this one, because it was just so awful sort of getting it on, to be honest, I didn't want to then put a bra on and have to try and put it on again. But this top, if you have smaller arms, I'm sure it will be great. Although it isn't just the arms that are sort of a bit tight on me, it's more or less the whole top. It's sort of, you know how some tops are too small on your chest and they just completely flatten your boobs, they don't do anything at all to make them look nice. This is one of those tops, so I looked and it was see-through so you could see everything, but also everything was completely flat and this top was that. So it was just a bit tight in the chest, tight in the arms, and overall it just wasn't the nicest top to be honest. I'm sure if you have a smaller chest, smaller arms, this would be perfect for you. But again, you would probably have to size up. Because I sized up twice and it isn't a good fit for me. It's top and it comes with a belt as well. 
don't know there aren't any belt loops on this so I'm not sure where the belt's supposed to go if you're just supposed to wrap it around maybe but then I feel like that will sort of cover some of the detail and make you lose a bit of detail and also just looking it's got sort of like a stitching on the outside there as well so overall this isn't the best top for me it's got stretch in there top which is nice so it's got a stretch just an elastic band all the way around so it's got this pattern at the front and then it's got a crossover pattern on the back I'm not sure if it's... yeah so it's got a crossover pattern on the back and I just I feel like this one was just a big miss to be honest so guys, that is the last item of my Boohoo haul today. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Obviously there were unfortunately quite a few misses, but there were also quite a few hits which I was really happy about. If you enjoyed this video, then I'd really appreciate it if you could like, comment and subscribe as it really helps me out. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye!